Hey everyone, welcome to the podcast. My name is Jeffrey and I'll be your host. Today's topic is social distancing and its effects in museums and historic sites. So the Students in the House is back open to the public, so I thought I would take this chance to kind of talk about some of the social social distancing and how it has affected us and how it's affected the whole virus has uh, affected the museum in general. So the, the, the museum and site was first closed on March 15th. The city of Edwardsville closed us due to the spread of the COVID-19. Since we are considered a special park, the city had closed all of the special parks on the same day and the regular uh, parks as well. All of our staff here was required to work from from home. Sometimes we did come into the office when we had some extra work, but we mostly did work from from our homes. Now, this week we opened back up on June 11th. That's almost three months of us being closed. Just kind of want to talk a little bit about how we were affected by the virus. During March, April, and May, we start our school tour season, which brings in a lot of revenue and it brings a lot of students and their parents through the house. We lost out on the entire school tour season that the Stevenson House has. When we start in mid-March, we usually have two tours Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of every week beginning in mid-March through the end of May. That's a ton of revenue, even at a, a discounted group price that the students in house lost out on due to the virus. We also had to postpone our major fundraiser that we do every year, and that is our trivia night, and we have had to postpone it twice now due to COVID. 19. It was it was first scheduled in April, and we were kind of hoping op- optimistically if we were just reschedule it for uh, June, we could still do it. Well, that proved wrong for us, and we originally had it scheduled for June 9th, I I I think, but that was re rescheduled too because we weren't even opened yet, and so. That was a, a, a second problem for us. Now it's in September, so hopefully all of the phases will be played out and the CDC guidelines will allow us to have that trivia night since it is our biggest fun fundraiser of the year. And we may, if we had a smaller fundraiser, we may have been able to get it in sooner but since we usually have about 200 participants playing plus the the volunteer staff there there was no way that we would be able to have it in uh, in june and we're hoping that the cdc guidelines will allow those restrictions to be more laxative in the fall we also canceled our first summer camp of the uh, the uh, year it was actually supposed to be this this week, but with the restrictions in place, we felt that we would not be able to really get give the kids a a proper summer camp that they they usually get from us. And we aren't having any larger group tours at this time. Now with summer coming up on us, we do have a a lot more group group tours coming through. But we have a good group of bus tours that will that will come starting in May but now we've had to cancel most of uh, of those larger group tours due to this the six feet rule so what the Stevenson house can can do now at the site 
in Illinois, social distancing guidelines were, were pretty strict for the last three months. So our first pri priority was to keep our staff, volunteers, and visitors safe. We actually moved our gift shop area to protect the staff and volunteers from hand handling more merchandise. So we have moved it out of a uh, it, it's it's old room and into a, a a new room, and we're also only doing online orders or curbside pickup for our gift shop items at this time. And we really want to stress to uh, to uh, visitors that we only want to use debit cards or uh, credit cards to pay for for our tours, since money does carry a a lot of uh, germs, not just from the virus, but just generally speaking. Our tours are, are limited to three visitors and one guide, docent, or interp interpreter. Since the Stevenson House rooms are, are, are pretty small, we are trying to uh, abide by the six feet rule. So to actually do the six feet rule, we only can have about four people in a room at one time. We even designated specific chairs where the uh, visitors can sit during our tours. The Stevenson House is known for its hands-on history when visitors come, but we have to limit the uh, amount of items or surfaces visitors can touch. Since we don't want germs to really spread on a lot of our softer surfaces, we, we're trying to limit what visitors can actually touch on tours. As of right now, all visitors have to wear a mask on the uh, tour and the uh, guide will wear a mask during the tour as well. This is a, a, a new challenge for us since we do a lot of uh, talking during tours. Having the guide wear a, a mask will be difficult for for some folks to really get their point through to uh, visitors and it's harder for some folks to uh, enunciate during tours where they have to wear a mask. We are providing the mask for visitors who who do come without one, who aren't pre prepared to take a, a tour with a, a mask on. Even though all of our new safety guidelines are on our website, not everyone checks the website prior to coming to the house. We have installed free hands-free sanitizing stations in our, our gift shop for people to uh, use. With limited funds, we wanted to have a second hands-free station out outside too before visitors came in they they could use the hand sanitizing station but with our funding going down with canceling events we didn't have uh, enough money to actually get a sanitizing station outside we do have a face guard and spit guard in our our gift shop area where the Gift shop docent will be han handling and uh, dealing with the uh, visitors and all of their cards and talking to them prior to the, the tour starting. After every tour, the staff will have to disinfect where visitors have been. We also will be disinfecting the the museum after each workday, so where our uh, staff and volunteers have been working. We will also disinfect those areas too. These me measures will probably seem extreme to some visitors, but we're, we're trying to follow the CDC guidelines and instructions so we can remain open to the public. I've seen s how some other museums are kind of handling their social distancing rules. Some are uh, some of the larger museums are doing vir virtual tours around specific exhibits at their museum. We have done one virtu virtual tour at the yeah, Stevenson House, but with our staff being at home most of the uh, time, our our virtual tours have not gone over as well since we haven't been been here to actually do one. Uh, online guide 
helped kind of lead some museums tours through parts of the museum. So they'll have virtual tours where you actually have a, a, a guide taking you through the museum or one specific part, which that, that's been kind of a cool to actually see. And then some have just remained closed due to the lack of volunteers. And on our area, we have a lot of smaller museums and historical societies with older staff members and volunteers. So some of those have stayed closed because their volunteers are more susceptible to getting the COVID-19 virus. And some of them just struggle just to, to find help on a normal basis. So just trying to maintain just a, one person in the museum is, is kind of hard for some of those smaller places. And I've seen others that have closed just due to the financial burden that have been placed on, on them being closed and not getting the donations that they need. So they're very constrained on their financial needs. And then finally, I've seen a, a lot of museums and historic sites do podcasts with their, with their staff members, with special guests every now and then. That's one of the uh, approaches that the Stevenson House has made. Well, I just wanted to give a quick update on what the Stevenson House is, is doing with the new social distancing guidelines. So come see us. We are open uh, Thursday through Sundays, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. So just read the website guidelines prior to coming, and we hope to uh, see you all soon, and stay healthy and, and safe. We'll see you next time.